Evolutionists claim that all the living things we see today emerge spontaneously by one species turning into another. If this claim were true, the Earth would be full of intermediate form fossils linking different living species to one another. For example, there should have lived in the past some half fish, some amphibians, half dinosaur, half birds, or half ape, half humans. Evolutionists refer to these imaginary creatures, which they believe to have lived in the past, as transitional forms. Evolutionary paleontologists have been digging up fossils and searching for missing links all over the world since the middle of the 19th century. And today, nearly 90% of paleontology excavations have been completed. Despite their best efforts, no transitional forms have yet been uncovered. I can show you the fossil of living creatures that lived in millions of years ago and they are exactly the same as their current anatomical structures. Here is the Atlas of Creation. That's a fossil of a living creature who was alive 15 million years ago. As you see, there is no difference between them. They are exactly the same as each other. You can see another example of living being lived 50 million years ago. You can see in this picture, they are totally same as one another. The fossil record reveals that species emerge suddenly and with their with totally different structures and remained exactly the same over the longest geological periods. There is no gradual development in the fossil record such as Darwin had predicted. Different species emerged all at once with their own peculiar bodily structures. At this point it is necessary to clarify just what the concept of transitional form means. The intermediate form predicted by the theory of evolution are living things falling between two species, but which possess deficient or semi-developed organs. But sometimes the concept of intermediate form is misunderstood and living structures which do not possess the features of transitional forms are seen as a is actually doing so. For instance, if one group of living things possesses features which belong to another, this is not an intermediate form feature. For example, the platypus, a mammal living in Australia, reprodu reproduces by laying eggs just like reptiles. In addition, it is a bill similar to that of a dog. Scientists describe such creatures as the platypus as mosaic creatures. That mosaic creatures do not count as intermediate forms is also accepted by such foremost paleontologists as Stephen Jay Gould and Niles Eldridge. Well, every single example of such a living species is enough to destroy the theory of evolution. As a result, all living things were independently and flawlessly created by God, who created the universe and all the living things in it from nothing. <laughs>